All right, guys, Mavs getting the shit beat out of them. I turned the game off. I just had to. Let me tell you something, though, right? I picked the Mavs in five. Was I wrong? All right, fine. Not everyone's perfect all the time. Not everyone's perfect all the time. The Mavs get the shit beat out of them. Does this change how I feel? Does this change my confidence whatsoever in the Mavs winning this series? I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. I'm just going to be straight up real with you, right? If, if there's anything, right, maybe I can be a little bit too biased sometimes. Maybe I can think with my heart and not my brain sometimes, but I'll always be honest with you. Yeah, it does. It completely changes. Like, it, it completely changes everything for me. Mavs, it's like, I've seen some people say on Twitter, and I do agree with this. Like, the Mavs are not supposed to win this series. Uh, I'm a dumbass for picking the Mavs in five. But, uh, again, that was just me being a Mavs fan. I don't care. I'll pick my team to win. I, I don't care. That's nothing to me, really. But, um... You can't lose by 30 points. Like, I'm sorry. Like, for, I've seen people ask, you know, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's all right. We weren't supposed to win the series. Man, you got to keep it competitive. R game one, you lost by six or whatever it was. That was a fake six. But I, we can at least admire the second half comeback. Game two, uh, this was just horrid. I mean, horrible. You know, and you had the lead at halftime, and it felt really good. We were feeling really good. You had a two-point lead at half. We were feeling great. I wanted the team to come out in the third quarter with a statement like they did against the Jazz at times. And they shit themselves. I mean, they absolutely pissed themselves. Absolutely. And yes, the Suns are a better team than the Mavs, obviously. Still, though, it's not like the Mavs are, are the Detroit Pistons. It's not like the Mavs are the Pistons. They need to be more competitive than this. They just do. Luka, 35 points. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't think... I don't think much of Luca's game tonight. Like scoring wise, he was really good in the first, in the first half, and then he was just too tired. You can't keep playing him entire quarters and entire halves. He's just not that guy right now. He, he's just not. He's not the guy who has the uh, the stamina and the motor to play at that level for that long right now. He needs to get to that point. That's on him. He needs to get to that point. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. He needs to get to that point. But he's just not there right now. I, again, I know his numbers look good, but uh, defensively he was a turnstile in the in the uh, in the second half, and they were just hunting him relentlessly, relentlessly. Yeah, and he turned the ball over seven times. I mean, Luca's always going to turn the ball over, but uh, it does kill you at times. And Jalen Brunson again, a complete and total non-factor in this game. You know, you're going to pay Brunson. Um, this is just a tough matchup for him. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to pile on Brunson because everyone else is, but obviously if the Mavs have any chance in making this series somewhat close, right? And like making it a competitive series, then Brunson's going to have to step up. Dwight Powell, uh, you know, Dwight Powell's not going to play much in the series. It is what it is. I thought Reggie, yeah, Reggie played great. Like I, Reggie's the bright spot for us. The absolute bright spot for us. I thought he played pretty decent defense, shot the three ball well. Dodo was in foul trouble all game long. Again, Brunson got in foul trouble again. Dwight Powell is 5,013 minutes. I just now saw that. Uh, can't keep getting in foul trouble. Officiating was garbage in the first half of this game, but obviously I'm not going to sit here and talk about officiating when you lose by 30 points. Uh, Chris Paul killed us 28 points. I feel like 20 of those were in the fourth quarter. 20 of those were at least in the second half. I don't know how many I don't know how many were in the fourth quarter. Two fouls in the first on, again, JB. No, I think it was three. I think he ended up getting three fouls in the first quarter. Or at least three fouls very early in the second quarter. He cannot do that. Absolutely cannot do that. Devin Booker was killing us late in the game too. Um, Jay Crowder, again, just going nuts against us. Uh, I don't really know what to say. Don't really know what to say. You know, you get killed. Again, this, this team shouldn't be getting destroyed like this. I know that they, talent-wise, they don't match up. This, this, and that. Matchup-wise, you just can't get, you can't get killed like this. You cannot. That That's not... If the Mavs, I didn't want to talk about this, but I'll bring it up. If the Mavs, because I, I mentioned, I don't know if SJ and I talked about this. Uh, and I think, I, I think we said it after we finished recording. But, um, but if, if the Mavs end up just getting swept in a very uncompetitive series here, it definitely kind of wipes away the first round win. Just going to be a thousand percent honest with you. You're supposed to beat the Jazz. You're supposed to beat the Jazz. You should at least be competitive against the Suns. You should at least be competitive against the Suns. Uh, just getting blown out like this is not good. Not good at all. Got to come back on Friday. Unfortunately, I don't know what the hell the deal is. Yeah, the Suns shot 64% from... I mean, they've shot over 50% every single game this postseason. 
They're going to do this. It's just what they're going to do. It's what they're going to do. They're going to shoot this well. Uh, that's just how it is. You can't just have disastrous quarters. When, when you have to play almost perfect to win, you can't just have disastrous quarters. Disastrous quarters. You can't do it. You can't have complete and total meltdowns like we saw in the second half. They hit tough shots. You got to come back and get a good look offensively. You can't just turn it over. Then they get a, they, they're leaking out in transition, get a lob, a uh, terrible shot, contested shot, shot clock violation. Then you let Chris Paul go to work, get an easy mid-range jumper. Now, all of a sudden, it's a nine-point game. It actually feels like a hundred-point game at that point. Can't, you, can't, you have to play pretty much perfect. And it's been very far from that. And that, I guess that's why I'm so annoyed is, you know, if you were to tell me, hey, you're going to lose to the Suns, I'd say, all right, that's fine. But, uh, God, they can play better. That's what's annoying. They can 100% play better than this. That is what is upsetting. They are better than this. They are much better than this. So uh, they got to come out on Friday night. Again, the scheduling's terrible. Uh, the Mavs don't get the Mavs, Suns, and the Heat and Sixers do not get two nights off at any point in the series. And then for some reason, the Warriors, Grizzlies, and Celtics, Bucks get a full four days off. I don't understand that at all. I don't understand it. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.